Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to replace infinite values with an A in a vector or data frame in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you two examples and in the first examples I'm going to show you how to replace infinite values in a vector. So as first step we need to create an example vector and this is what we can do with line 2 of the code. So if you run this line of code, you will see that at the top right of RStudio, a new data object with the name myVec is created. And we can also have a look at this data object by running line 3 of the code. And then you will see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our vector consists of six elements, whereby two of these elements are infinite. So if we want to replace these infinite values, then we can apply the code that you can see in line 5. And in this line of code, we are using the isInfinite function to identify all values that are infinite. And then we are assigning to these values the value na. So if you run this line of code, the vector will be updated. And we can have a look at this vector again. And now you will see that our updated vector is consisting of the same values as before. But this time, the infinite values were replaced by an A. So this is basically how to replace infinite values in a vector with an A. However, in the next example, I'm going to show you how to replace all infinite values in a data frame with an A. So again, as first step, we need to create some example data. And this is what we can do with the lines 9 and 10 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you will see that a new data frame object appears at the top right. And we can also print this data frame to the RStudio console by running line 11 of the code. And then you will see at the bottom that our data frame consists of five rows and two columns, whereby in both columns we can find infinite values. So if we want to replace these infinite values with an A, then we can apply the code as you can see in lines 13 to 15. And in these lines of code, we are using a combination of the doCall function, the data frame function, the lapply function, the replace function, and the isInfinite function. So as you can see, this code is relatively complex, but I will put the code into the description of the video so you can copy it from there if you want to apply it to your own data. However, if you run these lines of code, you will see that our data frame is updated. So let's have a look at our updated data. And now you can see that again, the values of the data are kept the same, but the infinite values were replaced by an A. So in this video, you have learned how to replace infinite values in a vector or data frame in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R programming code of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you give me a thumbs up on the video or if you leave me a comment. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.